hey everybody welcome to our channel um so we have a really fun i guess it's called like a couples tag um i added a few more extra questions um to it to kind of switch it up a little bit but um again i'm shavana my name's mike and um so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video all right so where did we first meet where did we first meet so first off um to make a sh long story pretty short, but getting directly to the point, I actually met Shivana at her job, believe it or not. And I was actually going in there to get a present for my mother, you know, because we have to do that for our moms, you know. <laughs> and I just happened to see her, you know, me and my buddy were in there and she looked up at us and she was like quickly just ready to help us like she was in business mode and she got all of our gift sets together and like after that we left we wanted up leaving wasn't too long after until she showed up at our church now our church that's now you know the pow um and i saw her as I was coming out of the restroom <laughs> and she was coming in the in the door and I was just like oh hey what's up you're that girl from Bath and Body Works <laughs> and you know she just looked so totally different and well dang yeah. it, but you were in your apron and stuff so <laughs> like, like usually people who, who are in their work attire, they don't, they look different when they're in their regular street clothes. Yeah. What is your favorite restaurant? Well, I have to say what your favorite restaurant is and you say what my favorite restaurant is. That's really difficult. I can think of my favorite restaurant right now on the top of my head. What is somewhere I literally always want to go? I would not, have to say, not in our town. I would have to say South's. In Brunswick. No, I was gonna say Cheesecake Factory. Oh uh, well. Because I always. You always want. You're always trying to take people to Sal's. I mean, no I love Sal's. And no one wants to ever. Nobody go. ever. I met one person who actually said, at, at work, who said that she's willing to go with me. It's so good, and like it's it's really really good but, pizza place. But it's just like nobody ever wants pizza. Like people aren't like, oh yeah, let's just go get pizza. Like no. I would say number two would be the Cheesecake Factory, but like I don't know, like Sal's is just one of those hole in the wall restaurants that yeah, it's so really good. good, really really good. Um, I would say, gosh, I, okay, I would say it's Chow Time just because we talk about that a lot. What is yours? Mine is actually in Brunswick. It's this barbecue joint, I forget the name. Oh, yes, um, yes. Southern Soul Barbecue, and it is amazing. It is yeah, amazing. Everyone should one. need, everyone should go there and they should grab them a plate because they give you a lot of food. <laughs> and I love barbecue, and if you love barbecue, that is your home. <laughs> All right, so what makes me the happiest? Being next to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely being next to you. But <laughs> apart from that, I would have to say getting out of town and and really just experiencing memories. What makes you the happiest? I will say well, I, I'm gonna say one. Um, I think whenever we either come from really good church service or whenever we go to a conference and we come from a co really good conference and well, you like pray through and just the prayer yeah exactly the prayer yeah so i think the good. prayer if the prayer is really good at a service like i can just see your whole face light up like that's definitely what makes you the happiest all right what makes me the most upset and then you know do you too What makes you the most upset? Probably... I would say probably when you just got done cleaning the floors and our 
wonderful little yes. puppy yes. will massacre the floors right after she just got done cleaning them. And she shed so much, like, yeah, that's what it is. It's just, she just, she shed so much. I feel like I, I literally have to sweep every single day. Literally, I'll get pictures. Oh, yeah, when she tears up paper, tears up um, like, stuffing. Look. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that makes me really upset. Um, I think what makes you the most upset is if me or other people make assumptions. I that's definitely like what makes you upset. Um, what do you pray the most for me about? Honestly, I honestly pray every day that the Lord he instructs you on you know where your life is going and you know just where you know just giving your mind comfort because I know for you I do know that a lot of times like your biggest thing is sometimes you can tend to stress out about the smallest things when they're not even that big and the Lord you know I feel like he wants to show you that you know even you know those things are small and those things are not there to like like take you out but in all these small things it's something to learn from and to grow from and not make so big to where it's like a mountain and it feels like you can't get over you know that hurdle and, yeah you know I just I pray day and night you know and I was just actually praying for you this morning that you know the Lord you know he would just you know cover you and protect you and protect your mind you know always putting on the full armor of God you know because when we have that full armor of God especially the helmet of salvation which protects our minds like God you know he'll take care of us and our minds will be taken care of if you tell God to you know hey you know Lord keep my mind he'll keep your mind mm -hmm. you know and that's just something I, I not only pray for you about you know but I pray for you know just some of our you know closest friends and family you know because who are dealing with just stress in their life and have anxiety issues sometimes you know because we all need you know that covering mm -hmm. um, my biggest prayer for you is always like confidence spiritually and confidence in like everything that you do because like I just feel like a lot of I feel like a lot of men they they come off more I've seen a lot of men who make it look like they're the most confident well put together men but they're actually very insecure and they you can see that by their actions and you can see that by how they treat their spouses or whatever in their relationships and what was your biggest fear coming into our relationship? I would have to say my biggest fear and would possibly, I guess, just my entire, like who I was then, which has changed drastically. Like, yeah. basically, I, I thought that my entire world <laughs> would just like change like completely like I would be this like new like entirely new person like and I would have no like almost losing yourself in a way and that first and foremost is nothing but a lie from the enemy mm -hmm. because you are who you are and like no one can take that away from you and but when you get married like a bit of your identity does have to change because you and your spouse do become one and you know that's just a hurdle I had to like kind of come to grips with and kind of had to work through and I'll talk about that in another video um, when it talks about men and being single but um, 
But yeah, I definitely, it was definitely identity. Mm -hmm. And I had to come to terms that only, I had to go back to the basics and I had to realize that I wasn't as, like, I wasn't as spiritually where I needed to be. And I had to first go back and ask myself, well, what is love, you know? And I had to, you know, as God, I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> like, who am I? Where is my identity? And, you know, the Lord, he imparted on me and said, you know, hey, you know, your identity is in me. You know, I'm your first, you know, I'm a jealous God. I want you first. Like, you have to find love in me before you can find love anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And, but that's just a tidbit for another video. Mm -hmm. Um. I think my biggest fear coming to a relationship was being raised by a single mom like all my life and not having like a father figure in my life or any kind of like real man figure um, to see what a relationship with a husband and wife is. You know, I always was, I was very insecure about how I'm going to be a wife to somebody never having to see what a wife is, you know? and. Um, you know, I remember one time I told Mike that, I was like, you know, when we were, I think we were engaged or something, and I told him, I was like, you know, I just don't know how, like, I'm going to be as a wife, or I don't know how this is going to work, because, like, I've never seen that for myself. Like, he was always raised with the mom and dad, you know, and I was, I wasn't, you know, so he kind of had an idea, and I had no idea, and, um, so he told me, he was like, well, why don't you just pray and ask God? you know, to show you those qualities, you know, and show you what that those examples are. And I remember when he told me that and I went every single day, I would just pray, pray, pray. And like, I'm telling you, and I'm not like trying to brag on myself, but like, it is the wisdom that God has given me about being a wife. Like only God has given me like wisdom on certain situations and certain ways to handle myself like as a wife or as a woman. So what is, your greatest gift and then what is my greatest gift well will you obviously use on my my players okay <laughs> your greatest gift meaning like 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 a, like for instance like your greatest gift is i think that you have like this well one spiritually you whenever you pray like you kind of inspire everybody else to pray like i don't know your prayers are very contagious like when you start praying like everybody else around you like gets very uplifted you know i think that's probably your your greatest gift and then outside of that outside of like church or whatever i think your greatest gift is you can like talk to guys and just like really make good relationships friendships like you know people Whenever you like have a conversation with people, it's very like uplifting. Like they just like, you know, like being around you, talking to you. I would have to say your greatest gift is being, um, being perceptive and you're very, um, you're very observe, observable. Is that a word? <laughs> I, I guess, guess it is now. I mean, um, you, you, you have great observation. Mm, okay. And um, I feel like the Lord has given you that gift to be able to see things um, a lot more differently than what other people can see. Like, say, if someone is you know dealing with someone and they just have a bad attitude and you know they just and everyone's like oh this person's so difficult oh this person's so difficult and you're just that type of person who's always well maybe this person's really going through this and and yes people will be like people kind of you know they look at you and they're like how are you able to see that and, <laughs> you know and you know you're just able to look a little deeper into into things thank you guys so much for watching this video um i hope that you guys enjoyed it um definitely expect a few more maybe question and answer videos in the future thank you have a good day bye <laughs>
She will. <laughs>